Hello, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars. Um, uh, how, how are you? I hope you're well. Uh, and if you're following the channel and you subscribe, um, thank you very much and um, please continue to do so. And um, I've hopefully today, on days like today, um, it rewards you for your, uh, your support and you're following me on the links because um, I've got some amazing, amazing news. Uh, Okay, it's Gordon Smith. I'll try and, I'm going to keep this as quick as I can today, and I want you to tell me, if there's one that catches your eye here, tell me which one you prefer, and I'll do a, a, I'll do a, a one to one focus on that one product. Because actually there's a few things I just want you to see, a whole bunch of bits and bobs, because it's representative of where Gordon Smith are going, and I just think it's stratospheric. I just think that there seems to be nothing that Gordon Smith cannot do for me that I ask of them. And this is the wonderful thing about dealing with a People that care, people that really listen, people that genuinely are dedicated to making their product the best it possibly can be. And, and um, you know me, I, I only deal with a handful of products because there's just so few companies I can work with that actually live up to their bloody, excuse my French, but their, their spiel. You know, the, 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 there's so few people, or there's so few products that I think anymore are real. That, that actually represents something that I can go, you know what, that is different. That is, they're making the effort. They're, they're standing out and they're, 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 they're committed to something. Rather than it just being another generic this, generic that. Um, oh, our guitars are made in America. So we stick a ton of money on the top. And it doesn't matter about the quality. You know, so stop rambling, Rich. Gordon Smith represents something very special. The handmade in England small bunch of guys committed to quality there te i'm telling you now there is no point unless you need the brand unless you need to live for a, you know which is fine a product and, and be part of a club an association with history um that to, to, that goes back 60 odd years um 70 i suppose um you know, if you want to buy into that history, it's completely understandable, totally understandable. And and each one of other brands will have unique selling points and that so so. But you don't need to be buying into that. You could be buying into handmade British guitars that represent everything that those products do, but yet have complete control over what you're buying. Um, and so I, I'm sort of already rambling because I'm basically just incredibly excited about what I'm about to show you. So I'm gonna whiz through them. Uh, I'm not even gonna plug them in, I'm just gonna show you, uh, give you a bit of an insight into each one. So the first one, this is, I, I, you can imagine I model these guitars on certain colors that have caught my eye over the years. Um, so I'm not even gonna name the color, I'm just gonna to say to you, here is a beautiful color that I've always loved. Um, and um, it's kind of sunbursty. It's a variation on the sunburst feel. Um, cream, it's all cream um, parts. <sighs> what you now have on this one is a roasted flamed maple neck. <laughs> Look at that. Um, so it's a roasted flame maple neck. Let's get the focus on there. There we go. And boop, 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 boop. Look at that, oh my God. So roasted flame maple neck and fretboard. Um, the key to this one that I've been asking of them is the weight. This is Swamp Ash. So I'm not too keen on the heavyweight ash, but this is Swamp Ash and it's lovely and light. Another big development is the fretboard and I need to speak to the guys to see how they're doing, doing it. The neck fills, uh, fits my hand like a glove. I, I'm really keen to develop this kind of um, uh, idea with them and I'm going to talk to them about a few other ideas I've got but um, I, I've, I've asked them for a certain feel of neck and it's absolutely amazing it's satin um, not a gloss neck so there you go there's your classic S in swamp ash body with the highest quality um, um, roasted maple neck you will ever find <laughs> and that's the starting point so Pretty crazy stuff. Then, check this one out. <laughs> this is just crazy. This is a tortoise shell binding on an ash body. I think it's two pieces. 
it's going to be two pieces. Yeah, goodness me, you'd never find the join, but I'm... Oh, Jesus, that is two pieces. The, the, the divide, look at that. The divide is, is somewhere in there. There is two pieces there. Beautifully done. Absolutely unbelievable quality. Ash, body, classic tea. Um, all of this is spectrum because I wanted it. So it's ash body with a tortoise shell uh, plate. And here we have a roasted maple neck, no flame. But I thought on this one, we go a bit more traditional. Look, you see the roasted kind of finish on that. Oh, come on, zoom in, zoom in, get it, whatever. Um, so um, yeah, real lovely golden roasted maple neck. What do you think of that? So tell me if you wanted me to do any kind of reviews specifically, but I, I, I can only tell you the weight is beautiful. It's not super heavy. Absolutely love that one. And this is the shame when, if any one of these arrived on one day, I'd just be all over it. And I'd be telling you all about it, how excited I am. Look at this one. This is your classic old school. Look at that. That is just classic. This is your old school classic tea, no frills, but just simple. Um, and again, roasted maple. I'm, I'm in, I just want this roasted maple on everything. I think if you're gonna buy a Gordon Smith, let's just go all out. Let's buy something of the highest possible quality that's got the whole, there's something about the neck that, I, I'll look into roasted maple where it has characteristics tonally. Cause it's quite a, it's quite a, um, you know, you pay a bit more for the roasted maple, but, but in terms of how you feel as a guitar, it just sets the theme, it sets that tone of, this is a quality guitar, this is something that is boutique. Because that's what it is, you're not buying into the old school Jordan Smith, rough and ready, slightly tr trademans tools. This is a stunning handmade guitar that is little more than, I mean, it's about a thousand pounds. It's, it's unbelievable. There is no reason to be buying into American mass-produced guitars when you can have a handmade guitar like this. Uh, you can, it's up to you. Um, but obviously this is my world and I'm talking about what I love. Um, now, I'll show you this one. Classic T, double bind. Um, I saw this in a um, guitar magazine under another brand, <laughs> as you can imagine. And I just said to Doug, Doug, could you make me one of those? Uh, I'd rather like that. And so he made me one. And, um, and do it in the Gordon Smith way, uh, make me a Gordon Smith. And uh, so uh, inspired by some photographs and stuff that I saw in a magazine. But look at that. That's my seat, by the way. Um, the, uh, look. It's just exquisite. It's every every element is just a detail. Look at it. Please don't let anyone tell you that Gordon Smith are just some kind of cheap brand. Um, nobody wants to accept. You know, guitar builders in the UK are scratching their heads, going, "How the hell can we compete with this?" Because they want you to think that if it's a British-made guitar, it's got to be three grand. Well, I'm telling you now, it can be half that and you get the top end spec of a Gordon Smith range. Um, in this sort of genre, anyway. Uh, and I've saved, I suppose, the one that I kind of, not saying it's my favorite, um, but it's just unbelievable. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Um, this was inspired by our competition winner. Um, and I can't remember if it's the same spec or if it's a similar spec, um, but at Christmas we had a Gordon Smith competition and they spec'd up a guitar for him, or we helped spec it up, I think. Um, I, I was actually very uh, out the loop because it was all done with uh, Richard and uh, Doug and our fellow competition winner, so I felt a bit guilty that I wasn't involved so much, but um, there we go. But, but, um, but this is what I wanted and I can't remember whether I said look make me another one because I loved it so much I can't remember if I changed anything about it maybe I didn't but again uh, this is um, this finish is utterly jaw-dropping I mean look at it. it it just does it crazy absolutely crazy 
and that is solid that is a solid spalted apple that is spalted apple um, and it's just that's a solid piece of spalted apple and it is what can I say it's beautiful and that is swamp ash back again extraordinarily beautiful you pay more for swamp ash than you do the ash the ash is heavier um, but swamp ash is lighter and um, more res more, more has more resonance or uh, it's more alive than the regular ash I'd say um, and again uh, roasted maple neck um, didn't think it would look right with a flame on this because it's all the finish is about this and then you've got the kind of beautiful kind of roasted finish that sets off against it but what do you think of that um, again the weight is just incredible and so light and so there we go um, these are classic Gordon Smith classic T uh, Gordon Smith classic T and classic S developments um, which one catches your eye which one would you like me to do um, a review on particularly anything particular because to me they're all just mind-blowing um, and this is what this is this th these developments are what keep me involved in the industry I'll tell you I um, I could I my shop could run at the moment with like I, I would happily dedicate myself to a, a Gordon Smith center you know I'd be a Gordon Smith shop I don't care I, I would just sell these all day um, give me graduates give me classic T's give me classic S's give me um, uh, you know the, the, the GS ones GS twos um, add to that um, you know I'm, I'm being facetious not facetious but you know because I, I my, my, my Eastman's I could, I could I'd run an Eastman shop I'd spend my whole day just selling Eastman guitars because they represent something truly extraordinary um, and then I don't want to miss out things like Doug's own brand there's other brand, the Ordens which are just wait and see what the a chap has just bought an Orden guitar an acoustic guitar from America he lives a stone's throw from the Taylor head Q, HQ he owns Taylor's he owns Martin's and he owns everything you should see what he says about the um, Auden uh, it was a 45 in maple that he's just bought from us it's just extraordinary to hear his words this guy that is American he's been buying into all the American brands uh, has a pile of them heard the video that I did on the Auden's and, and just thought, oh, sounds like quality I'll try one and he's just smitten, absolutely smitten. You know, that, it's that kind of stuff that excites me. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for keeping interested in what I'm doing. And um, tell me what you think. Do you like the Gordon Smith developments? If you do, spread the word. Please just tell people about Gordon Smith guitars. There was somebody at the door. I had to go and <laughs> I had to go and see them. Um, so there we go. Yeah. So thanks for everyone who's supporting the um, uh, the project, uh, who's loving the Gordon Smith guitars. As I say, these are handmade British guitars, extraordinary quality. Um, you can, we can spec up a guitar however you want it. And um, I can't thank Doug enough for his continued endurance and desire to um, do the right thing by the product and, uh, and, and me as a dealer, I suppose. Okay, so um, yeah, keep watching. Let me know what you wanna see. If you wanna see any reviews or anything, let me know. And just please tell me what you think of the products that you're witnessing because um, to me it's a, quite a special uh, uh, era if you like in the development of Gordon Smith guitars okay cheers okay see you soon bye